disruption, forest fires and ozone are a few of the major air pollutants in Utah. But with a shrinking Great Salt Lake, many cities along the Wasatch Front can now add dust to the list. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner reporting from the shoreline with what's being done to protect surrounding homes. Heavy metals and other pollutants in this soil can be picked up and carried in the wind. It's toxic to breathe, and now the state is working to better understand these dust storms. The Utah Division of Air Quality is currently looking at strategic areas to put four new dust monitors. These monitors will be installed this summer and will run around the clock. They will be used to measure the levels of arsenic, heavy metals, and other pollutants that are picked up during a dust storm and may even help determine which cities are being hit the hardest. The findings could also lead to future legislation. These are some of the most uh, uh, critical concerns with air pollution, that uh, young developing lungs are particularly susceptible to the impacts of air pollution. The state approved nearly a quarter million dollars for these new dust monitors. Reporting from Antelope Island, Cade Garner, ABC4 News. We turn now to